I do want to say really quickly that this video will not include any information about shadows. The foundation for this simple lighting system is to first add a canvas modulate. That will just let you essentially affect the color of the entire canvas. So if I just grab this lighter and drag it down, you'll see that the entire scene gets darker. We can add a node 2D to organize our lights and then just start to add a point light 2D. We'll most likely create several of these, so I just like to keep them organized. It'll tell you that you need a light texture. And you can see texture over here is empty. I already have this light here. It can theoretically be any shape that you want, but what you really are looking for is something that's bright in the center and then fades away as it goes to the edges, just like a light would. So I can pull that into my texture. Now if we drag that light around the map, you can see the way that the light interacts with the canvas. From this point forward, you mostly just want to experiment on your own with what you like. And the main two things you'll be using to do that are the, or the main three things, color, energy, and texture scale. So if I change the texture scale, you'll see that it just gets bigger and smaller. If I change the color, obviously the color of the light will change. And then if I change the energy, it just gets brighter. So all of these factors together will create whatever lighting effect that you want. Everything we've seen so far has been in the editor, but if we run the project, uh, you'll see that it looks pretty much the same when the project is running. Another thing worth noting is that you may not want the lighting to apply to your UI. So here I've, I've brought in this icon and it's just sitting in the Sprite 2D. If I want this to be excluded from the canvas modulate and the lighting situation, all I need to do is add a canvas layer to the scene that the canvas modulate is outside of. Essentially, the canvas modulate will modulate any canvas that's a part of. Well, this is a separate canvas. So if I take the icon and I put it in this canvas, now it exists outside of the lighting. The last thing I'll show is how I achieve my candlelight flickering effect in my application Quillscape. Basically, I have all these lights that you see on the map added to this Node 2D just to organize them. And most of them have just been scaled up uh, to four and then the energy brought down to 0.4 and then I changed the light. I think they're all the same texture and energy, which they don't have to be, they could be a little bit different. And then I add a script to whatever, whatever their collection is. Here's a really simplified look at some logic that would cause those lights to flicker. Uh, basically, we just loop through each of the lights. We calculate a random direction. Using that new direction, we define a target based off of the current offset of the light. Then we make sure that the direction will not take us further than 20 from our original position, which would be an offset of zero. If it is further than that, then we just calculate a new one. So we just keep ourselves within a bound. Uh, and then if everything's okay, we, we just add the, or we set the offset to the target. This is by no means the best way to have a smooth flickering effect, but it's a simple introduction to just thinking a little bit more about how you can use lights to add some aesthetics and interactivity into your game or application. Hopefully this has been helpful for at least the very basics of lighting in Godot. If you want to support the channel, make sure you check out the link in the description that leads to the Quillscape Steam page where you can wish list my writing software now. Again, I hope this was helpful and I hope you're having a great day and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.